Warning, the following program contains scenes of graphic stupidity between a man and some games. Don't take anything Android say too serious, I'm just messing around. This video should not be viewed by anyone. How's it going everybody? Welcome back to Scum. Not too long ago we've gotten ourselves a new update that brought to the game Wound Contamination and Infections. Now we can get contaminated wounds by getting hit by puppets or from using dirty rags in order to stop a bleed or by wearing dirty clothes. So the goal for today was to see how this actually worked. Now I created a character with one constitution because the lower our constitution, the weaker our immune system is. Now our immune system is important because it actually fights off contamination and infection. So the lower our constitution, the higher the chances of contamination and infection. So I jumped in with a character with one constitution and I got myself slapped around by a puppet a couple of times up until I got some contaminated bleeds and as we can see here the contamination was at 1.5%. Now contamination is influenced by a couple of different things, by external pathogens, by wound germs and by the immune system. Now the pathogens and the germs are bacteria and they're entering our body and that's going to lead to infections and these pathogens come from the things that we mentioned earlier, from dirty rags, from slaps, from the puppets and dirty clothes and things like that. And of course our immune system is fighting off the pathogens. Now with the worst kind of immune system, contamination was going up really slowly because the immune system was actually fighting off the contamination. So I decided to try and crawl through the dirt and see if anything would happen if the contamination would go up higher but it didn't really seem to do much so I decided to step up my game and wear the dirty puppet clothes as well. Now wounds will go through the stabilization phase into the recovery phase and they will recover to max and they will restore our health to max as well but they will not disappear if they are contaminated. They will stay in the recovery phase and the contamination will grow and it will grow up until we get infected. And this is how we can get rid of contamination. All right, so my injuries are actually in the recovery state. They are at 100%. My health is at 100%, but they're not actually leaving the... the the recovery kind of area. They're still here and they're still getting contaminated. Uh, the first one is at 13, the second one at 14 and the last one at 35. Now, if we want to get rid of this contamination, we can actually treat the injury in the recovery phase as well. So if we click on, for example, this here alcohol, we can actually treat this wound. You can just click on it and he's going to kind of pour some of that alcohol on the injury and as you can see the infection has pretty much disappeared. The contamination is going down because we used the isopropylic alcohol on the wound. Contamination is going down to 12, 12.4, 12.3. This is going to go down and down but these ones are going to go up and up. We're gonna let the last one, we're gonna try and get this one to 100% so we can get ourselves infected. Right now, we are getting 3.4% contamination per minute. We're getting wound germs and external pathogens as well. But our immune system is fighting off the, the infection or the contamination as well. 1.4% 1, 1 per minute, even though I only have one constitution. Because as we know, constitution will fight off contamination and infection and things like that. But right now, my health is at 100%. And this contamination is going down. It's going down pretty fast. It's already at 6, 6.7. So it's minus 7% per minute as well. So this is going, this is going very well. So one use of this year isopropylic alcohol is going to help us out quite a lot here. So the, the first wound that we poured some alcohol on it pretty much is going down. It's almost rid of contamination. It's at 2%. And as soon as it's going to go down to zero, this is going to heal up. It's going to exit the recovery state. And it's going to make me be all fine. But again, I still regained health. I'm at 100% health. Even though these injuries are, are contaminated and are not out of the recovery phase. And here we go. The first one is done. So to get rid of contamination, we can use alcohol to treat the contamination. And we can also use Epstein as well. 
So we can use a couple of different things to disinfect our wounds. And this is a new thing. Uh, up until now, we couldn't do anything in the recovery phase because there was no there was no infection or contamination. So we can now kind of heal our contamination in the recovery phase. We can also do it in the stabilization phase. Now, I let the contamination grow to the max to see if we can get an infection. And getting to the infection phase took, it actually took quite a bit of time. Alright, so we are almost at 100% contamination. We are at 98%. It has taken me about 30 minutes to reach this stage. Since I got injured to 99, 100% contamination, it has taken me about 30 minutes. And now we should be infected. So let's see how this is going to work. Here we go. We are now on the infection phase. And it has gone from the un from recovery, our injury has gone back to the untreated section, and that is infection C1. And we have three types of infection, C1, C2, and C3, and then we go into sepsis. Now, C1 seems to be going up pretty slowly, so we have a lot of time. Now, in order to actually fight this off, we can take antibiotics or we can get vitamins as well vitamins are going to improve our immune system and that's going to help us out so we're going to let this go up a little bit right now it says that it's at 0.3 percent we're going to let it go up to about one percent and then we're going to start getting some uh, some pills my health is still at 100 percent and it's actually affecting our strength, our constitution, our dexterity, and it's taking 0 0.1 HP, I'm assuming per second or something like that, and performance score minus 2%. So an infection is going to affect our stats as well. That's interesting. Our immune system is at 100% right now. All right, so it's almost at 1%. I have a couple of meds in my inventory here. Of course, the PT29 serum is going to help us instantly, so we're not going to use that right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of these antibiotics and we're going to take some vitamins as well. I'm going to take these vitamins first and we're going to see what is going to happen here. Is this going to help me in any way? This is at 1.50, 0 0.60, 0 0.7. Okay, it's going up and up, so the vitamins don't seem to be any, don't seem to be doing anything. But actually, it boosts around my immune system. It seems like my immune system is going up to 5.8%. It wasn't at 5.8 before. But this one is at 1.2. So, I'm not really sure how much difference that's going to make. But let's see if the good pills here are going to help us out. So we have the antibiotics in us. They're going down really fast. 80%, 79%. Oh, God. All right. 1.369, 1.371, 1.373. Oh, here we go. And it has gone into the recovery state. One, one pill made me go in back into the recovery state. Now, if this was a C2 or a C3, we would have, we would have to take more pills over time. So as soon as this one expires, we're probably going to have to take another one and another one and um, up until it goes into the recovery state. And it seems like the antibiotics actually helped me out as well because my infection is going down and my contamination on the other wound is going down as well. But that may be because my immune system is up to 24% because of that vitamin. Oh my god, my immune system is at 2,000%? 2, 2, Holy crap! Well, there we have it. If we have an infection, pop some antibiotics, pop a vitamin, and you're gonna be fine. So we can treat our contamination with isopropylic alcohol, abstin as well, but I have not yet used it, but apparently we can pour that on our wounds as well. We can do it in the recovery phase and we can also do it in the stabilization phase. So we don't necessarily have to wait until the recovery phase, but if we don't have anything to clean our wounds with, it's alright because it's going to stay in the recovery phase, our health is going to go up and the contamination is also going to go up but it's going to take a little bit of time so it's going to give us time to actually find you know, some, some alcohol or something to pour on our wounds. And when it comes to the infection, when we do get an infection, we can get uh, vitamins and we can also get antibiotics. Now vitamins are going to 
boost up our immune system and our immune system is going to fight off contamination as well. So if we're contaminated, we can either boost up our immune system to fight off the contamination or we can disinfect the wound and that's going to get rid of the contamination as well. And the antibiotics will help us with infection. But the, the higher the infection is, if it's a C2 or a C3, we're going to have to pop more meds in order to to get it into, st into the stabilization phase. I've also made the character with maximum constitution and that was five. And I got myself blasted by a mech. I got myself shot in the face and I got myself a C4 bleed. I got that bleed contaminated with some dirty rags. I used some dirty rags to, to actually stabilize the bleed and I got infected as well. And I wanted to see, I just wanted to see how our immune system is going to fight off the contamination. I wanted to see the percentage on that without any help. And it was pretty high up. Our immune system was fighting off the contamination with 8.5%. So that's, that, that is quite high up. And this is without using any sort of meds or anything like that. I got myself shot by the mech and then I started looking at my stats after I used the dirty rags. And my immune system was fighting off the contamination pretty aggressively with 8.5%. Now, because of the dirty rags, I had a 10% on the pathogens, so I was only getting contaminated with like 0 point something percent, so I had like plenty time to go and look for something to disinfect the wounds. And one last thing, if, for example, we use a dirty rag in order to patch up a wound because we don't have any sort of good bandages, using that dirty rag is going to get our wound contaminated, but we can actually take off the rag, as you'll see in a second, we can take off the rag and replace it with a clean bandage. So what we can do, we can just use the dirty rags just to stop the bleed, just to kind of stop the bleed so we don't lose blood and health and whatnot. And it's gonna go into the stabilization phase, now it's gonna go into the recovery phase and we're gonna recover health, but as we saw, the contamination is not going to go away. The contamination is going to go up and up if we don't treat it with disinfectant or things like that. But what we can do, as I've said, we can actually remove the bandages. So if we use a dirty rag and then we go around and we find some good band-aids, right? Some emergency band-aids, whatever. We can actually click on this little icon. We can remove these bandages. And the wound is going to go from stabilization into the untreated section and then we can use clean rags or clean band-aids to actually heal this up. So we can now use these and get ourselves treated. We need more, but you catch my drift. <laughs> you, you catch my drift. All right, hold up. What if I use this? So what if I use one dirty rag and four good band-aids? Let's see what that's going to do. I'm actually quite curious here. Is it going to go into the stabilization phase? with contamination or without. Let's see what's gonna happen. So four good bandages and one dirty rag. All right, so it is going into the stabilization phase and it's not infected. Check that out. Contamination is going down. So we can actually mix and match our heels, that is very, very interesting. Let's do more research here. Now I messed around with dirty and clean band-aids. I kind of mixed and matched them. I don't really want to go into it because I didn't get any constant results. I, I don't really want to go into it and bef until I make some more, some more kind of experiments on it because it, it's interesting because if we can do it, we cannot waste all of our meds so we can we can put a good rag and a bad rag and kind of patch up our wounds without getting infections. But I don't want to go into it too much because I didn't go through like a full, <laughs> through like a full experiment sort of say. But uh, it seems like we can indeed kind of match them up. As you saw, I used four good ones, one bad one, and I wasn't getting contaminated. My contamination was going down. That may also be because my immune system was very strong with constitution five so that's why i don't really want to go into it before i check it on one as well and then on five to kind of see if that's true or not so for right now it's it's on the shelf it's a myth for right now but there we go that's all that i did with contamination and 
infections. We can get contaminated by getting wrecked by zombies, by using dirty rags, by having dirty clothes. We can fight off the contamination with the help of our immune system and we can boost up our immune system with vitamins and that's going to help us fight off the contamination. We can also disinfect our wounds with alcohol. But if we do get infected, the only way to actually fight off the infection right now, from what I know, if you guys know something else, please let me know as well. But from what I know is that we can use antibiotics and that is going to help us fight off infections. And again, vitamins as well to boost up our immune system. But there we have it. That is how we fight off infections and contamination. And that's all I have for today. Let me know what you guys think about all of this down below. Thank you for taking the time and hanging out with me. I know this was a big of a, a bit of a, you know, was a, I have a pen here. I'm going to be honest. I've been writing shit down. <laughs> it's a, uh, it's yeah, you get my point. It's uh, it's, it's quite in depth, but it's not bad. It's pretty simple. It's in depth, but it's not complicated. But that's about it for right now. I hope you've enjoyed. Thank you so much for taking the time and hanging out. Make sure to leave some stuff and things down below. Enjoy your weekend because the weekend is coming up. So enjoy the weekend. I hope you have a great weekend. And I will see you in the next one with some more video games.